Okay, so just got shot. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And as I shared on one of the last videos, here we are with my new open rig so that I can feature great pieces of hardware such as the KFA2 3060 Extreme. And we are back. So guys, what we are going to cover today is the KFA2 3060 Extreme. And uh, on screen, you can also see right now CPU-Z and GPU-Z. So if you want to check out all the specifications and so on and so forth, you just pause the video and I'll have everything right over here. Now regarding the open rig, as I mentioned on one of the previous videos, the frame, uh, it's easy, just check out on the channel we'll find. In terms of the motherboard, I'm using the Asus Tough Gaming 560 Plus Wi-Fi, which we have reviewed here on the channel. It's using a i5-10400, which we will be changing soon. And to call it the home, it's a beast of a color, which is a NZXT Z53. I will share more details very, very soon. In terms of storage, I've got a Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0, 32 gigabytes of RAM of the S3 Plus Dragon. I also have a Toshiba uh, P300 right over here. And in terms of uh, power supply, I've got an NZXT C650. And I think I'm not forgetting any of the component right over here. I will leave some links down below just in case. Now, in terms of the 3060 and the KFA2 in particular, let me start by talking about build quality. Now, I've seen several GPUs and from KFA, I've had the privilege to test out some of them. And one of the things that all of them have in common is the build quality. They do not facilitate. I've seen, and I've said this before, I've seen some other brands with GPUs uh, and brands that are more known on the market, at least on the mainstream, that have GPUs a less so good build quality than KFA2. And I do believe that they have achieved a great balance in terms of build quality and the price that they cost, at least MSRP. Also to have in mind that you are watching right over here, which is LEDs and fans. And one of the things that I really enjoy is the tool that is Extreme Turner and we can just remove GPU-Z and CPU-Z or the other way around. And Extreme Turner will allow us to do a lot of stuff and they have been improving this software since the first time that I've been using. Now, for example, the uh, RGBs, we can just select um, a color breed, for example. And if I apply, it will change to color breed. I think it uh, had this preset before. I can select just the static color. Let's say that I prefer, I want something red, which I think it was red already. So if I want something blue, there we go, a static color. If I want to just um, uh, remove it, then we have no lights at all. But I do believe that if we go for the extreme, uh, then probably this is what we want to do. We want to have a bit more glare on our setup. Now in my particular case, I do prefer red and on a breed effect, for example, and then just like this so that it matches my setup, which sometimes it uh, changes as well. Now in terms of the fans, one of the things that I would like to mention is that they are very silent. Actually, as you can see, they are completely stopped right now because uh, NVIDIA has GPUs that are so power efficient and in terms of their heat output, they are also so efficient that most of the time they don't need any effort to display a 4K display at this moment, for example. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you what kinds of noise you can expect. But at this moment, I've got a machine right over there rendering a video, which is a lot more noisier than this one. And by the way, it's not an NVIDIA, it's an AMD <laughs> external GPU on my Mac Mini, which does a lot more noise. I'm not really sure if the microphone picks it up, but it should because this open rig is completely silent and that one is not. But that's not the case. Now, let's move to custom and let's put a speed of I don't know, 65 right over here, which is something that um, it will ramp up from time to time if we are really pushing it on games and so on and so forth. And 
Yep, and one of which is at 65 and the other one uh, moves up, as we can see on the screen, to 30 uh, percent. But I can put both on 60 something or even a little bit higher and apply. I can barely hear it here, so I'm not really sure if the microphone can pick it up. Really, really silent GPU. If we go to 80 percent, probably we'll start to hear something. Yeah. And probably you are hearing if you are not noticing any differences because the noise that I've got on my office which is not noisy at all but I've got machines rendering here and there um, then probably you will accept the fact now let's put it just for fun 100% I have never seen this GPU at 100% but this will be the maximum that we will get and <laughs> check out the temperature 29 degrees uh just awesome now I, I in real life situation i haven't seen the gpu requiring to go this fast but even though not that bad for 100 percent speed now let's move to auto now one more thing that i would like to show is that uh like uh, some other gpus that we have seen from kfa2 there is the option for one click overclock and of course we can also go to the overclock settings and do whatever you want to do if you want to squeeze that extra frame per second now besides the desktop app one of the things that i really enjoy is the mobile app that we can use uh, while we are gaming to change the color fan color leds to be more precise to everything that we have seen on the desktop or it's also available on the mobile um, app which is just awesome so we will have all those color settings and then depending on the gpu we have seen the 37 and the 3080 right over here and they have a little bit more settings so depending on the gpu we will find different settings more color options less color options and so on and so forth you can search the channel and i will also try to leave a link right over here on the youtube card so that you can check that out but we can do everything we can control the fans we can overclock while we are playing games so we don't need to move out of the game you just need to press that overclock button and squeeze a few more frames per second. So a uh, great job that KFA2 is doing on the Extreme Turner. And that being said, let's take a look at the uh, 3D Mark Time Spy score right over here so that we can just check out, first of all, to compare with other GPUs that are on the market. By the way, I'm using the i5-10400, uh, but it will be swapped soon. Although i don't see any game that i'm bottlenecking the gpu now one thing that i would like to take right over here that you can check out is for example in battlefield 5 uh, with this score with this setup right over here we will be able to achieve 85 plus frames per second on quad hd if we lower to 1080 which is one of the targets of this gpu the 3060 between 1080 and uh, quad hd of course there will be games that it will be capable of playing in 4k which is just awesome but this will depend on the game so we can have an idea right over here apex legends will have crazy results of course and if we go to gta 5 50 plus on quad hd but if we lower to 1080 then we will have 80 plus frames per second fortnite at 1080 we'll have 20 120 plus quad hd 90 so this is very acceptable and then red dead redemption 2 at 30 which is a little bit less and then 1080 we will get 40 frames per second so just to share these results with you before we go to minecraft and if you are wondering okay robert why minecraft and i'll explain in just a few moments now one of the things that i would like to share with you is that i'm getting 30 frames per second in quad hd but this is just to have with the refresh rates of the display now on minecraft at least in my in my experience i could not change if i lower to 1080 it will go up to 60 but on quad hd and 4k only 30 and i don't see any uh, changes or any settings on the game that will allow me to do that so this is one of the limitations but with the 3060 we'll get more than this if you have a different display now in terms of minecraft if you ask me hey Rob, do you love that game i do not enjoy that game that much but there is something that i really enjoy and that is the capability of technology taking advantage of games such as this one which to me probably doesn't mean nothing for my kids they love the game and one of the things that i did test out in 3080 and 3070 is something that i'm going to share with you right now and this is something that made me 
change the way that I see the game. And that is basically ray tracing. Take a look at this. When we activate ray tracing, does it look like it's Minecraft? It doesn't, guys. It just doesn't. Look at the textures, look at the shadows, look at the reflections. Everything is just awesome. And of course, there will be some of you that uh, will say, okay, so, but that is not the original look of Minecraft. Minecraft is uh, pixels and things like that. And although that is all true, to me, having white music, no. So, uh, as I was saying, now, Minecraft is something that has its own characteristic, and I do respect that. But to me, uh, it's just awesome when we go right over here. And of course, this is not awesome. I'm going to disable ray tracing, and there we go, bam, the classic Minecraft. Completely different. And once again, some people might say, okay, this is the Minecraft that I love. To me, ray tracing makes all the difference in the world, at least Minecraft world. Okay, so let's take a look at this map, which is the Neon City, I believe. Uh, as you can see, we have RTX symbol right over here. Uh, there is one saying NVIDIA, I'm not really sure what it is. Ah, GeForce, <laughs> it's right over here, GeForce. But as we can see, uh, pretty dull, pretty, I don't know, looks like a zombie city something like that so, although it's not bad it, it's great but let me show you something which makes me very very happy even even when the game doesn't mean much to me it's not for my generation i don't know uh if we enable ray tracing come on this is a game that worth my attention come on it makes things completely different and yes it's pixels but pixels looking a lot better and of course it's rendering frames per second dropped <laughs> a little bit we have a lot to render here on this image but wow look at this guys things that otherwise would be a little bit dull a little bit uh, i don't know uh, as we move into this map by the way i'm i'm cheating uh, but it's a property of the game i can fly so i can show you better things and wow it's just just wow in my opinion this is one of the things that i wanted to share with you guys because uh, it's great to see what technology can do with a game that otherwise to me and to you can be different but to me it is a bit in terms of graphics it is a bit boring and like this just wow and one last map just to show you guys something really interesting here we go this is ray tracing activated so we have a lot of details look at that just awesome and if i go to once again to the uh, video settings and disable ray tracing mm, okay so you, you see what i mean it's it's just a complete and of course it is minecraft we look at it we recognize it and yes it's minecraft it's for someone that enjoys this game i, I do respect that and it's just awesome but um, come on no it doesn't have in terms of graphic I really really appreciate what ray tracing on the RTX in this particular case the KFA2 RTX 3060 from NVIDIA look at this it changes completely things it doesn't look it doesn't just go back just rewind a little bit and Wow, so I've restarted the game and we are here with 1080 and quality on Ultra. And we don't have ray tracing yet uh, activated, but we will do and DLSS so that we can see some really interesting stuff. But at this moment 1080 with Ultra, which I would probably go for very high instead of Ultra. But um, one of the things that uh, I want to share with you guys is ray tracing feature which is just awesome now when we look at the game such as this one which is really well designed and the graphics are great really detailed but for example right over here uh, one of the things that we can check out and regardless of the frames per second that you are seeing right now which are above 60 so very acceptable but if I go to the options and video and enable 
ray tracing right over here and let's put on high we can of course play on ultra high or medium but let's play on high and let's leave tlss uh for now off and one of the things can you see immediately a huge difference on um, the way that we see things our per perception now the uh, reflections of the water even elements that we could not see otherwise uh, the lights coming from the buildings uh, if we disable ray tracing well, just so that we can see this and this is one of the things that really make me um, enjoy much more a game and of course there will be some games that i agree with some of you guys that okay i don't want ray tracing i just want pure high frames per second take a look at this image and what we've seen before the reflections although the design of the game is great and we have some details on the water and shadows but it's not the same thing and of course frames per second did ramp up but we will take care of that with something else so let's move to ray tracing one once again and let's put it on high okay let's go back and let's go inside there we go just beautiful just beautiful no other words let's go inside here uh, so that we can see some glasses and reflections and there is an area that I was here when we was recording the Portuguese video, by the way. Uh, it's a very simple detail, but just take a look at this. If I disable uh, ray tracing, and if I go to the video once again. Okay, ray tracing disabled. Look at this. There are details that simply are non-existent. So this is one of them. Let's put on ray tracing because uh, it's just awesome just small details such as this one and this makes a completely difference when we are playing a already well designed game now one of the things that we will have with ray tracing is a more compute demanding system we are getting roughly 40 frames per second at this moment and we are on ultra if i'm not mistaken but let's try something right over here and let's go to video and change the uh what is it the lsss right over here let's put it on performance now um, as we can see this is deep learning super sampling a nvidia rtx technology which uses ai intelligent uh artificial intelligence to boost frames per second and generate beautiful sharp images and in this particular case it offers higher performance balanced it will try to optimize both image and quality now if i go back we were at uh, roughly 30 something 40 frames and now we are reaching 50 something 60 frames per second while having the same amount of quality which is something really really interesting guys so uh here we are at 1080 let's just pick up this is not gta of course but uh, if we pick up a car, we can just move around for a little bit um, so that we can just see in terms of frames per second while maintaining uh, the total aspect of the game, including the ray tracing technology, which is just awesome. And we are reaching 50, 50 something frames per second. Probably what I would do right here is lower the graphics to high or very high so that we could achieve a better balance okay so now we have um, high presets and then i just change the um, ray tracing to high and then dlss let's put ray tracing probably to medium to see if it makes a difference in terms of frames, frames per second and let's see what we get right over here so we are reaching 60 frames per second more or less which i do believe that it's a more than acceptable kind of performance for this type of game while maintaining everything all these details that otherwise we would not have everything uh the only thing that we did change was was the ray tracing to medium instead of high but let's risk it and put it to high like we did before in 1080 see if we lose much uh, no, it went down for a little bit, but it's up 60 something frames per second, which 
which is awesome and not losing all the details. Now, of course, we could try 4K like we did on the 37 and 3080, but I do believe that doesn't make uh, much sense because in 4K we will lose a lot. And this is, I believe, that the balance between the number of frames per second. We are reaching almost 70 frames per second on Quad HD. Let me just check again because I think it's Quad HD. At least, uh, yeah. 2400 let me just check the display but it has to be or the game would not accept yet uh, so yeah here we go not too shabby results okay now with fortnite so let's take a look at the settings but we've got basically 1080 on epic so everything at maximum the exception is we don't have really tracing enabled yet and uh, for those of you that are wondering okay is the 3060 Great GPU, the Extreme Edition from KF82. Then, my opinion, yes, we are above 100 and something frames per second. Of course, we are on the lobby, but that being said, let's drop as soon as we can. So, still above 100 frames per second, which is great. Now, one of the things that hopefully we'll be able to see, and although this is one. Once again, a great game in terms of design, we can see some reflections and so on and so forth, but try to rewind the video because I will have to restart the game um, once I enable ray tracing, but um, I'll try to give you a glimpse, especially on what we see, which is where we can see better uh, all the details and so on and so forth, which at this moment they are lacking. But if you are wondering, okay, I want the frames per setting set frames per second pumping we are with 120 something and even though we are on a area that the map is not very demanding for the GPU uh, once we get to a more populated area okay so just got shot but yeah, 100 above frames per second. Uh, not sure if my partner was shot or not. No, she, there she is. She's okay. And she's taking care of me. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Kubasta. Now the only difference is that we have everything the same, but I did enable ray tracing right over here. So this is the settings that we have with DLSS activated as well for performance and uh, everything on Epic. Probably we should go a little bit lower to high. Let's try that. Uh, save. And let's try to see still 1080. Let's try to see what kind of performance. But above 60, so uh, great. And one of the things that, uh, if, if you rewind the video and you take a look at the water when we did jump previously without ray tracing, you will be able to see the difference. And of course, for some of you guys, this will not uh, be the most important because you want higher frames per second. And obviously, we did lower it down but we are getting a much much more detailed gameplay and this is one of the things that i really enjoy i do prefer personally to lose a few frames per second but um to have a more detailed as you see i'm not, I'm not a, a fortnite player so Probably this guy. No bullets. Start the game, so we are not going to do that. This is will be this will be a choice that you will have to do, but take a look at this scenario. This does not happen without ray tracing enabled. Is it Fortnite the perfect game to enable uh, ray tracing and full uh, epic graphics? We are not on epic 
are on an event today, this was. And we are on high, if we go to medium, let's see if that makes a difference. On medium, not much, not much, don't see that much. But this will be a choice, having between 40 and 60, with the KF8 30, 60. Or adding above 100 and the same graphics a little bit. But come on, before I die, <laughs> I'm just appreciating these awesome, awesome details. Especially, as I said, on shadows, reflections. Just awesome. And of course, the guy is having fun right over there. And this is it. We are going to wrap up. So in conclusion, guys, what I can say is that I do believe that the 3060 is one of the most balanced GPUs on the market. I do believe not only now, but since the 760, which was the first that I had, and then 960 and then the 1060, I did miss the 2060, but the 3060 is just awesome. Having in mind the build quality, and of course, it's an NVIDIA GPU with all this great features that we just seen and just a glimpse on some of the games guys this is it hopefully the video was helpful in some way if there are still questions and doubts and things that you want me to test out just let me know down below in the comment section i will do as best and as fast as i can to answer them and to show them in video my name is Roberto george if it was useful don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated right over here and as always I'll see you guys on the next one